Good day, Ospies. Today is Friday, November 19, 2021. The, rev the, the river today will be sunny and cool. Today's lunch choice is pork rib sandwich. Today's special day is 8-2. Now to the Dr. Sheriff's for the morning meeting. Good morning, everybody. Happy Friday. Remember that next week is Thanksgiving, so we have a wonderful week off with family and friends, and we will see all of you back on November 29th. Today, for our One School, One Book, we're going to read chapters 3 and 4, and I want you to think about how you would handle your parents saying no to you, and what would you do? I wonder what Lulu is going to do now that her parents said no to have a pet brontosaurus. Hmm. I hope you enjoy this part of our book. Welcome back, my friends. So we actually are going to read chapters three and four today in Lulu and the Brontosaurus. Um, but before we read chapters three and four, uh, we talked a lot about how Lulu's character was in the beginning of the story. And we're still in the beginning of the story. She seems kind of bossy, doesn't she? So in chapters three and four, before, before we go to chapters three and four, remember that she asked for a brontosaurus. And the way chapter two ended is they asked her, uh, to get a dog, a cat, a goldfish, a bird, a gerbil, and a guinea pig. They would give her that, but a brontosaurus, definitely no. So that's how we ended chapter two, starting chapter three. No, her mom and her dad were telling Lulu no. Lulu wasn't used to hearing no. To show how much she hated it, she screeched and screeched and screeched till all the light bulbs in the living room burst. I want a brontosaurus for my birthday present, she said between, in between screeches. I want a brontosaurus for a pet. Well, maybe we could get you a nice pet rabbit, said her mom. Or even, said her dad, a nice pet rat. No, 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 screeched Lulu. I want a brontosaurus for a pet. Then she threw herself down on the floor and kicked her heels and waved her arms and screeched some more. Look at those parents. Chapter four. Four days, eight days, 10 days, 12 days passed. Lulu kept saying, I want a brontosaurus. Her mom and her dad just kept on saying no. Lulu kept screeching and throwing herself on the floor and kicking her heels and waving her arms. Lulu's mom and her dad kept saying no. Until finally, on the 13th day, the day before Lulu's birthday, right after lunch, Lulu said to her mom and her dad, okay then, foo on you. She had terrible manners. If you aren't going to get me a brontosaurus, I'm gonna go out and get one for myself. Lulu packed a small suitcase, said goodbye to her mom and her dad, and walked out the door. And they let her go, partly because they thought she'd change her mind and come running back home in about two minutes. And partly because it was nice to not have her screeching and kicking and waving and being a pain. Let's have a cup of tea and a couple of cookies, Lulu, Lulu's mom said to her dad. Excellent idea. Dad, her dad replied. So they went into the kitchen and started munching on some cookies and sipping tea. And pretty soon, they'd forgotten all about Lulu. So next, we're gonna have Miss Taylor read chapters five and six. I wonder if she's gonna turn around or if she's going to head into the forest and find that brontosaurus. Tune in next time, bye. And now for our JPS mission statement, JPS Kids Soar Higher, super problem solvers, outstanding writers, accomplished readers, ready for success.
And now for a success equation. Hard work plus resiliency plus teamwork equals success. How does a cat's favorite color? A cat's favorite color, I don't know. Purple. Ah! <laughs>